Amen. Let's jump right into the Word of God. And let's see here. We are on Coming Soon Part 4. This is Coming Soon Part 4. Okay? Now, that means that there are three other parts. So if you're just coming in on this, we started this series last Sunday. And then there was Part 2 um, last Wednesday night. And then there was part three on Sunday. So now this Wednesday night is part four. So let's go right into it. Honey, I'm going to have you start off. Go right into it. Praise God. Praise God. Coming soon, part four. According to God's prophetic agenda, we are currently in the church age. We are currently in the church age. During the church age, the following things occur at different times. Okay, the following things occur. The birth of the church occurred. Okay, the birth of the church. You can read about that in the books of in the book of Acts. It talks about the birth of the church. In Acts 2, it says thousands would be added daily to the church, them being saved, and they would continue steadfastly in the doctrine, and they would fellowship, they would break bread together, and they would pray together. So when you read the book of Acts, it talks about the beginning of the church, all right, the birth of the church. Also during the church age, the persecution of the church. Yes. The persecution of the church, all throughout the book of Acts, they were arrested, they were beaten, and they were martyred. The apostles, they were, you know, arrested. You know, you read about Paul and Silas. Yes. You know, they were beaten and arrested and martyred for the gospel, for the name of Jesus. So there's persecution that goes on during the church age. And when you um, um, hear about some of the other things that are going on in other countries, um, they are being martyred as well for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They're actually being killed and churches being burned yes. for the gospel of Jesus Christ. So the persecution of the church goes on during the church age. Also, the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay, the preaching of the gospel of, ki of the kingdom. Matthew 24, 14 says, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world yes. as a witness to all the nations and then the end will come. Come on. So as the gospel of the kingdom goes out throughout the world, then the end will come. The end will come when, when people have been given a chance to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Okay, they'll hear the gospel of the kingdom preached, all right? The power of the Holy Spirit is given and demonstrated so when you read about the early church in the book of Acts, the Holy Spirit came and they spoke in tongues. They operated in the power of the Holy Spirit, you know, casting out demons, um, healing the sick, you know, doing those things. The power of the Holy Spirit was given to them as a promise in the book of Acts. They went to the upper room and they were filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Also during the church age, the world gets darker with sin and wickedness. Amen. The world gets darker with sin and wickedness. In Matthew 24, starting at verse 37, it says, But as the days of Noah war, so also will be will the coming of the Son of Man be. Yes. So when you read about the story of Noah, yes. there was all type of wickedness going on mm -hmm. um, during that time. Right. You know, we went through some of that on Sunday. So great wickedness will be on, or just turn on the news or go on social media. People are inventing evil things. <laughs> They're thinking of evil to do. They're um, coming up with things that, you know, it's like, where did they get that from? Right, right. As right. the days of Noah. So, but also be encouraged. Where sin abounds, grace abounds that much more. Yes. So, God's grace and mercy is sufficient for us during this time. Mmm, glory to God. So, as the, the world gets darker with sin and wickedness. Also, during this time, during the church age, false religion, false Christ, 
and false forms of Christianity are birth. That's good. Okay? That's good. In Matthew 24, again, it says that many false prophets will arise mm -hmm. and deceive many. Mm -hmm. So there's so many prophets. Mm -hmm. There's so many prophetic words that have gone forth but have not had any fruit. Right, right, right. Okay, so when speaking in the name of Jesus is to be taken seriously. Right. And that has not been taken seriously. So there's the fear of the Lord is not in the body of Christ the way that it should be. Yes. So as a yes. result, there's so much pride yes. and so much deception and false religion, false Christ and false forms of Christianity our birth. Yeah. The next part of God's prophetic agenda is the rapture will take place. Mm. The rapture will take place. Okay. After the rapture, when the, the church goes up, okay, the church leaves the earth, yes. the Antichrist will be revealed and come to power. Mm -hmm. The Antichrist. So say that again. So the, the Antichrist, that's what we're going to talk about a lot today. Yeah. The Antichrist is not, you're saying the Antichrist, we're saying the Antichrist is not revealed until after the rapture. Yes. Now, I find that very interesting because I remember people were calling certain people the Antichrist. Yes. There was a yes. time yes. where, there was a time where, um, there was a time where I heard. Yeah. Back in 2007, 2008, when President Barack Obama was being, you know, becoming president, I heard that he was the Antichrist. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Now, <laughs> I, I, now, now, now yeah. why, why am I bringing that up? Because Christians are saying things that are not biblical. I, they're, they're saying things that are not biblical. Oh, if he gets in power, he's the Antichrist. Well, that means the rapture would have taken place. Mm -hmm. I mean, are, are you hearing what I'm saying? I am. You know, there's a, again, there's so much deception in the earth. There's right. so many conspiracies. There's deception in the church. Yeah. There's conspiracies in the church. Right. There's conspiracies around the word of God. Right. In the church. Right. And us having grown up in the church, mm -hmm. we've heard one conspiracy after <laughs> another about the Word of God. Yes. So we have to make sure we go back to the Word. Mm -hmm. That's why we're talking about this. Go back to the Word and allow the Word of God to walk us through. Yeah. Okay. The signs of the times, understanding what is going on and being able to read the Word and look out and have a understanding and not being tossed around with conspiracies wrapped around the word. All that produces is fear. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It produces fear. Yeah. Um, the spirit of fear comes in when we don't really have an understanding of what is going on based on the word, really having a solid foundation, being rooted and grounded. Uh, a person can get really spooky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, around, yeah. really spooky around these things. Well, we're living in a time where people are just saying anything. Saying anything. And and they're doing it to put pe people in fear. Yes. yes. They're, they're doing it to put people in fear. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, we saw, we saw so much of that in 2020. And we see that, you know, today. And, and let's just say this. And let's put some Bible on it, and then, then people will be afraid of it. Yeah, people will be afraid of it, and that doesn't come from God. We should have a respect and a reverence for the Lord. We talked about that yeah. on Sunday. We said people were saying in 2020 that masks yes. were the mark of the beast. Yes. No, but the Christians were yes, saying this. Yes, they, yes. Pastors and prophets and yes, preachers yes. were saying that masks were the mark of the beast. Yes. So what did they do? They took something, masked, yes. and then they took... Reached in the Bible. Yes. They reached in the Bible and they put Mark of the Beast on masks. Yes. So that made people afraid to wear masks and people prohibited yes. to wear masks. They did the same thing about the vaccine. Yes. They they took the vaccine, yeah. reached in the Bible, yep. and then put Mark yep. of the Beast on vaccine. Yep. So now people are, oh, I don't want the vaccine because it's the Mark of the Beast. Yes. Good 
goodness gracious, yes. none of that lines up with what the Bible says. Exactly. We we got to believe this word of God, the Bible. Mm -hmm. And so when you talk about the Bible, the mark of the beast is not even revealed until after the rapture. Yeah, so how could the vaccine be the mark of the beast when the rapture hasn't even taken place yet? Yes. So the, <laughs> again, a conspiracy yes. around the word. Yes. So what that does to the church mm -hmm. is the church can lose credibility. Absolutely. Because us having, we grown up in the church mm -hmm. and every Democrat politician was the Antichrist. <laughs> That's what we were told. So I, some of y'all might laugh, oh, but we were told that. I know, and I'm laughing because that's, I used to be that person. I used to be that person believing in, in that, and, and so I thank God for deliverance. Yes, thank God for deliverance. I thank God for deliverance. But what that does is it causes the church to lose credibility mm -hmm. if that is taught and spewed mm -hmm. year after year mm -hmm. after year. Mm -hmm. Um, that type of rhetoric. We have to stick to the word and be rooted and grounded in solid truth. 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 Glory be to God. Solid truth. Mm -hmm. So that we don't lose the credibility mm -hmm. and the, the purity and the potency of the word of God. Okay? The Antichrist will be revealed and come to power after the rapture. After the rapture. Okay? So who is the Antichrist? The Antichrist is the political leader during the Great Tribulation. He is not revealed until the rapture takes place. So what that means is he will be alive. Yes. And he will have some, you know, um, he, he will probably have some type of workings in the world somewhere, obviously. Yes. But he's not going to be revealed as the leader of the world, the Antichrist, until the rapture takes place. Yes, okay. until the rapture takes place. Okay, now, the, okay, so what does anti mean? Anti is a prefix, as we learn in grammar uh, and composition, you know, classes, you have prefix, prefixes and suffixes. If you put a prefix, at the beginning of a word, it changes the whole meaning of the word. Mm -hmm. So you have Christ meaning the in, the anointed one. That's what Christ means, the anointed one and his anointing. If you put anti on there, it means opposed to mm -hmm. or opposition or opposite. Mm -hmm. So the Antichrist is opposing the anointed. It's the opposite. Okay? Now... There's a difference between a person who has a spirit of the Antichrist or operates in the spirit of the Antichrist from the Antichrist. I want to make sure that there's clear. A person can operate in a spirit of the Antichrist, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Just like a person can operate in a spirit of Jezebel, in a spirit of Saul. In a spirit, all right? But there's a difference between a person who operates in the spirit of the Antichrist mm -hmm. versus the actual physical son of perdition, the Bible calls him, the Antichrist. Okay? What am I talking about? Well, let's get into the Bible. First John chapter 4. Look, let's read it. First John chapter 4. And let's look at. Verse 1. Now, I put this on social media because somebody said, Man, Pastor, you you talk about prophecy, end time prophecy, the prophetic. You talk about that a lot in your series. Did you know that the Word of God contains almost 27% of the Word of God is prophecy? Mm -hmm. And, I didn't do this research, the other percentage, there's a high percentage that talks about the gift of prophecy. Mm -hmm. So, I believe that prophecy, the prophetic end times, is something that God thinks is very, very important. Amen. And now I know why. Because people believe what they want to believe. 
And 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 you can get a person to see yeah. if you don't keep them with the Bible. Yeah. Now I know why that almost a a third of the word of God is talking about prophetic things and end time prophecy and all of that. Why? Because of deception. Mm -hmm. Jesus, he said in his word, I don't want you to be ignorant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. So listen. First John chapter 4, let's look at verse 1. It says this, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, okay? But test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Glory be to God. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come into the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come into the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist. See that? He says it's the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. Let me tell you what happened. As soon as Jesus ascended and the Holy Ghost descended, mm. the spirit of the Antichrist was loose on the world. Mm. I'm going to say that again. When Jesus ascended and the Holy Spirit descended and the church was birthed, the spirit Spirit of the Antichrist was loose on the world. See? All right. Now, verse 4. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because he who is in you. Come on, somebody. Amen. I'm talking about Jesus the Christ. Amen. I'm talking about the resurrection power of God. He that is in you is greater than he, the devil... Oh boy, Amen. the devil, every spirit of the devil that is in the world, they are of the world. Amen. Therefore, they speak as of the world Amen. and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who does not, uh, he who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth. Come on, somebody. We have the spirit of truth. He's the helper, the Holy Ghost. We have the belt of truth. Remember, I can't say this enough. I say to everybody, always stay with truth. Yeah. Somebody say amen to that. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Hmm. Glory be to God. Now, just... Go back a couple of chapters. Go to 1 John chapter 2. Look at verse 18. 1 John chapter 2. Look at verse 18 through 23. It says this. Little children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard that the, now this is not the spirit of the Antichrist. This is the Antichrist. You have heard that the Antichrist is coming. Even now, many Antichrists have come. Yeah. Have you seen this? Yeah. What did I tell you? As yeah. soon as Jesus ascended, the Holy Spirit descended, and the church was birthed, the spirit of the Antichrist hit the world. And, and this, is, this is proof of it, because he says, even now, many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. Now this is written over almost 2,000 years ago. This is written. Mm. Woo! He's saying this is the last hour. Glory be to God. Mm. Oh, what? Come on. If he was saying it's the last hour then, how much closer are we now? Mm. Hallelujah. Now look at verse 19. They went out from us but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. Woo! Come on! 
But they went out that they might be made manifest that, that none of them were of us. I'm here to tell you today prophetically. Mm. It is the worst time to backslide. Amen. Oh, hear Amen. me. Hear the word of the Lord. It is the worst time to backslide. Amen. Because what I've prophesied is that more there is a different realm of demonic entities yeah. loose on the world. What I'm saying to you is that when you backslide now, there is a force that's trying to hold you like never before. Jesus. Man, this is the worst time to do it. Because the devil knows that his time is short. Mm. Woo! And so you have people going back into the world. This, 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 isn't, this isn't 30 years ago, 40 years ago, where, man, you, you could just come back into the church and... Uh, yeah. There is a force, a demonic force, trying to hold people into the world and get them into grosser darkness. Jesus. Are you hearing me today? And this is what he's prophetically talking about. He says, but you have an anointing. An anointing. Say, I have an anointing. I have an anointing. Say, I have an anointing. I have an anointing. That means you have the anointed one which removes the burdens and destroys yours. But you have an anointing. From the Holy One. And you know all things. Mm. Come on. That's good. Oh, come on. Stop playing with me here. This is what he says. The anointing will allow you to know all. Oh, boy, I wish That's I had good. somebody that. The anointing. This is, a, this is different than being just a regular That's church good. folk. The anointing comes on your life. Yes, yes. And when you hear something. The Holy Ghost will say that ain't true. Yes, yes, yes. Goodness gracious. That's good. That's good. The Holy Ghost will say that ain't true. Yes, Lord. The Holy Ghost will reveal to you truth. Yes, See? yes, yes. Are you hearing me today? Now, this is powerful. He says, I have not written to you because you do not know the truth. Mm. Stay with truth. But because you know it and that no lie... Is of the truth. Mm, 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 mm. No lie. Boy, I keep telling you truth, 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 truth. Yeah. All right? Who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. Mm. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. Mm. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Now this thing is so powerful. Yes. This thing is so powerful because this is talking about you and I, we, the body of Christ. Yes. When, when we say in truth, God reveals things to us. Yes. When we say in truth, we know things. Somebody yes. say yes. amen to that. Yes. Yes. Amen. Now go to 2 John. Oh yeah, we're going to go into 2 John. I know folk don't go into 2 John a lot mm. these days, but we, we're going to go into 2 John Chapter is only one chapter. Chapter 1, verse 7. And it says, For many deceivers have gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an anti-Christ. Mm. That is in the world right now. Are you hearing me today? Wow. And the anti-Christ spirit... Watch this. Is linked and connected to the spirit of the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Because they rejected Christ. Mm -hmm. The stone, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. The stone that the, 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 the builders rejected. Yes, yes, yes. Woo -hoo -hoo yes, yes. Has become the chief cornerstone. Yes. What I'm saying to you is the anti spirit Christ spirit, oh, is linked with the spirit of the Pharisee. Yes, yes, yes. And that is why Jesus loved to argue and debate and call them out publicly. Mm. Are you hearing me today? Because why? He didn't want nobody to see. Yes. Jesus was very, very strategic. Yes, yes. He yes. was forgiving people's sins. Yes. Right? The, the woman, they said, you know, uh, uh, woman, I don't 
condemn you either. Go and sin no more. He didn't blast her on TV. He didn't blast her on social media. He didn't blast her in the newspaper. Yes, yes, yes. But the Pharisees, they had an antichrist spirit. Yes. He blasted them. Yes, yes. Publicly. Yes. Whatever he said, he said it to the crowd. Why? Because he does not want to be misrepresented and he wants no one to be deceived. Yes. Glory yes. be to yes. God. Yes. Are you hearing me yes. today? Now, go, go to Matthew 24, verse 4 and 5. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24, verse 4 and 5. See, people, we got to stay with the Bible. Yes. We got to stay with the Bible. We have to stay with the Bible. Matthew 24, look at verse 4 and 5. He says, And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ, and will what? Deceive many. Okay? And we understand that it's not just a, a, sim, a singular meaning saying, I am the Christ, but this is the form of Christianity. Yeah. This is what Christ looks like. Mm -hmm. Matthew 24, look at verse 23 and 27. 23 through 27. Then if anyone says to you, look here uh, is the Christ or there, do not believe it. Why is he saying that? He's saying, don't believe anybody that says, here's the Christ over here, here's the Christ. Why? Because he knows that the rapture takes place first. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. You got to get this in your heart. Oh we talked about this on Sunday. We say that the rapture happens before the tribulation. Yes, yes, yes. So if the rapture happens, ain't nobody going to tell you Jesus is uh -huh. over there. Ain't nobody going to tell you. You ain't going to have no time. In a twinkling of an eye, bang, you're going to be caught up. Yes. You're going to see Christ. Yes. Ain't nobody got to tell you Christ is there. Yes. You're going to see him face to face, caught up in the air to meet Christ in glory. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. That's why he's saying don't believe people yes. when they say Christ is over there. Yes. Oh, I saw Christ walking down the street. Yes. Oh, I thought Jesus was over here. No, yes, no, 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 no. Yes, yes. Look at this. Look at verse 24. For false Christ. And false prophets, woo, 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 woo. boy, we've been seeing a lot of that. Yes, will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Mm -hmm. Oh boy! Yeah, come on, somebody. See, I have told you beforehand. Therefore, if they say to you, look, he is in the desert, do not go out. Or look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Do you see that? He's telling you, don't believe, I'm over here, I'm over there. Because when I come back, it's going to be that quick. That's good. So how how did the Jim Jones people get to see? How did the David Koresh get to get to see? Because they didn't preach and hear this body. They didn't yes. listen to the word of God. Yes. How are so many people yes. deceived today? Oh, this is the mark of the beast. Oh, yes. this is the mark. Why? Because they don't believe and listen to this Bible. Yes. It's right here in the Bible. Yes. You can't have the mark of the beast until the rapture comes up. Yes, 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 yes. So all the people that said this is the mark of the beast, yeah, the, the tire is the mark of the beast, yes. that little plane is the mark of the beast, let them say whatever they want to say. Yes. The mark of the beast is not revealed until the beast is revealed. Yes. Yes. Woo! Well, I'm yes. preaching real good. Yes. The, I'm going to say it again. Yes. The mark of the beast yes. is not revealed until the beast is revealed. Yes, yes, that's good. good. That's good. This is good stuff right that's here. That's good. 
Now, Mark chapter 13. Look at this. Mark chapter 13. Boy, 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 they didn't deceive some folk. And folk don't even read their Bible. They just go on social media yeah, and do. they just say the same thing that the social media people Yeah, they say. do. Yeah, they do. See? Mark chapter 13, look at verse 21, verse 22. And, and if, I'm, if I'm preaching with great passion because I got a righteous indignation yes. about people of God being deceived yes. when the Bible is it telling you exactly what's going to yes. happen. Yes, yes, yes. All right? Now, look at verse 21. Then if anyone says to you, look, here's the Christ. Or look, hi, he's there. Do not believe it. For false Christ, come on somebody, and false prophets will rise and show signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Mm. Come on, somebody. The elect. Mm -hmm. When it's talking about the elect, it is talking about five-fold ministers mm -hmm. who are leaders over people of God. This deception in these last days is going to deceive them. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Woo! Woo! Okay. Now, I mentioned Jim, jo Jim Jones and David Koresh, and that's where they say don't get, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Because mm -hmm. Jim Jones, he put the cyanide mm -hmm. in the flavor aid. Yeah. It said flavor aid, but yeah. we say Kool Aid. Yeah. Um, flavor aid wasn't as good as Kool Aid. Yeah. Kool Aid was a lot better. Yeah. But don't drink the Kool Aid. Put the cyanide in there. Yeah. And they drink it. it was, they almost a thousand people. Yes. You know what it does? Like I said in the beginning, it produces the spirit of fear and it causes believers to be spooky. Mm -hmm. Because if we go back through some of the church conspiracies. When the credit card started to take off, man, it was said through the church. That's the mark of the beast. That's the mark of the beast. Don't use the credit card. Don't use the credit card. When the cell phone started to take Woo. off, um, that's the mark of the beast. That's the mark of the beast. You know, ah, ah, ah. then when the internet, the inner, oh my God, mm -hmm. when the internet started, that was a sign of the antichrist, and it was the mark of the beast. Um, recently, when 5G came out, goodness gracious, oh, come on, it was the mark of the beast. So, what these things 5G, 5G was the mark of the beast. So, what those things when this Bible says that the rapture comes first, yeah, and then the beast comes, and then the mark of the beast, yes, rapture, the beast is revealed, then the mark of the beast, yes, how can we have the mark of the beast? Before the rapture. Yes. And, you know, and they were spreading conspiracies through the church that the 5G was causing the COVID. Uh -huh. So, again, uh -huh. oh my God. when we don't stick with the truth Woo. of the word of God Glory and God. we don't understand um, the signs of the times of right. the coming of the Son of Man and we don't read the word for ourselves, the church can lose credibility. Credibility. And these were these were prophets and pastors. Yes, yeah, so we have to stick with these the were, word. These were prophets and pastors. Yes. And and, and dear God, the debacle of, of uh, the prophetic of, of the Trump prophecies. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 oh my goodness. Yeah. We are in the last days. Because yeah. we're seeing this stuff being fulfilled right before our eyes. Now, the Antichrist is not revealed until the rapture takes place. I cannot stress that enough. We, we talked about it on Sunday. I'm going to go there again. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. 2 Thessalonians. Hallelujah. 2 Thess Thessalonians chapter 2. Look at verse 1. Okay. Glory be to God. Now brethren. The coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And are gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in your mind or troubled either by spirit or by word or by letter as if from us as though the day of Christ had come. When people say the mark of the beast is this here and it's out right now, what they're saying is Jesus has already come. Mm -hmm. 
That's what essentially what they're saying. Or they believe in some type of post-tribulation and that we're going to go through the tribulation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so demonic. Mm -hmm. In order to drive an agenda and drive fear, yeah. they want people to be afraid of something. Mm. He says this, look at verse 3. Let no one deceive you. Now, this is about to deal with prepositions. Okay? Remember in grammar and composition, I, I love, I love, I love education. Yes, I love yes, stuff yes. like that. I really, because I, this, it's, it's important. Yes, yes, yes. We're about to read some prepositions. Remember, prepositions take the place mm -hmm. of another word. Mm -hmm. In other words, if somebody says, Pastor White was walking down the street, he turned left on Oak Street. Mm -hmm. He is the preposition for Pastor White. Mm -hmm. Right? Got it. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will come, will not come unless the falling away comes first. Mm -hmm. Woo! And the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. You see that? Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped. Now remember, the rapture and the day Jesus comes back are two different things. The rapture is first and then Jesus coming back is the day of his second coming. Okay, those are two different things. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped. So that he, who is he talking about? The Antichrist. Right? They just talked about the son of perdition, so that's the preposition. He sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself, that's, that's the Antichrist, the son of perdition. It's actually the son of Satan. Showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know what is restraining that he, who is he talking about still? The Antichrist, the son of perdition, may be revealed in his, who is he talking about? The Antichrist, the son of perdition. His own time. For the, look at verse 7. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he, uh-oh, now we got a different he. This is a capital he. Who is that he? Well, let's read it. We talked about it on Sunday. For he who now restrains will do so until he it's taken out of the way. We got a different E, but still a capital H. This is like in 2 Corinthians, he made him who knew no sin. Yes. God made him Jesus who knew no sin. This is talking about God. Mm -hmm. Let's read verse 7. For the mystery of the lawlessness is already at work. Only he, God, who now restrains, will do so until he, Jesus, is taken out of the way. Mm -hmm. Okay? How would Jesus be taken out of the way? Well, through the Holy Spirit, Jesus is on the earth through us. Yes. Through the people of God. Yes, 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 yes. yes. How will the people of God which represents through the Holy Spirit, Jesus, yeah. how will they be taken out of the way? The rapture. Yeah. You see that? Boy, I'm trying to make it very, very, very plain, very, very clear. He, God, who now restrains, who is he restraining? He's restraining the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. The Antichrist can't just wake up one day and say, oh, I'm going to reveal myself, I'm the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. He don't have that power. God is restraining him. Okay, look at verse 8. And then lawless, the lawless one will be revealed when? When 
the people of God leave the earth. Mm -hmm. And that's when you're going to see the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. That's when you're going to see the mark of the beast. Whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. And with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth. Oh, wow. truth. Stay with truth. Stay with truth. Wow. That they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusions. Oh, oh my God. I'm telling you, we are in this time yes, where God is sending strong delusions. People are believing, they're believing stuff, they're just believing stuff that's wild. Just, why? Ah, I just want to stay with the Bible. Wow. Just stay with the Bible. Strong delusion that they should believe the lie. Wow. That they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. I don't care what it is. I want to believe the truth about it. That's true. I don't care what it is. I want to believe the truth about it. That's true. I, I'm going to say that again. I don't care what it is. Yeah. I want to believe the truth about it. I want to be so addicted to truth yep. that I can spot a lie a mile away. That's so good. But let me tell you, you got Christians connected to agendas that reject truth yes. in order to support a particular agenda. Yeah. You, are you are causing your soul to receive delusion. Yes. When you do that. That's good. Though they, they not part of my political party that I support. That's it good. don't matter. Truth is truth. That's true. Glory be to that's, God. That's good. Are you hearing me today? Yeah. I don't care. I don't care what it is. If it's the truth, that's where I wanna that's what I wanna believe. That's so good. That's so good. Christians right now, they are, they are, they are, they mm. are, they are allowing their soul. Yeah. To receive delusions. Yep. Are you hearing me today? That's good. Now, go to Revelation chapter 13. Come on, let's go to Revelation chapter 13. And then we're going to let you go. Are you getting some tonight? Glory be to God. Woo wee. Revelation chapter 13. Ha 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 ha. Let's get in this. Glory be to God. I don't want to believe nothing that's a lie. Uh uh. They said, they say, I mean, you got, oh, you got this lie that the, the election was stolen. Yeah. And Christians believe it. Yeah. What you're doing is you're allowing your soul to get used to believing lies. Yeah. So that now when God speaks, you can't even hear truth. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm believing this false prophet. This false prophet said that this was going to happen. Uh, you know, you got QAnon conspiracy theories out there, and they just believe it. All they're doing is allowing the now who's the father of lies? Satan. They're allowing the voice of Satan to be louder than the voice of God. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Go. That's good. That's good. That's good. You know, when I'm thinking about lies and deception, mm -hmm. way back in one of the series we talked about the root of it is being deceived about self. Yes. So we have Jesus as the truth. Come on. We have the Holy Spirit, which is the truth. Yes. And we have the belt of truth. Yes. All of that truth stops us and helps us to not be deceived about ourselves. Right. And live authentically through the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. When a person lies about to themselves mm -hmm. about themselves, mm -hmm. they will be deceived yes. by other people by easier. Other people. Easier. Easier, yes, because there is an open door of deception. There's already an that's open door. why humility is so important that mm -hmm. we humble ourselves before God. Yeah, God resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. Come on now, yeah. And so, when we're honest about ourselves, yes. when we're honest about ourselves in the presence of God, Woo. we receive truth. Come on now, Glory we receive the spirit of truth, and that will protect us. From all the deception going on in the world. Come on. I don't want to believe a lie. Mm -mm. I don't care who, who, I don't care what. I don't care if it's my favorite actor. Come on. I don't care if it's my favorite singer. Yes. I don't want to believe no lie. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Whatever it is. Yes, yes, yes. I don't care whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I don't want to tell myself a story. I don't want to believe no story. Nope. Don't tell yourself a story. Don't tell yourself a story about yourself. Right. Don't tell yourself a, a lie about your past. Mm -hmm. Don't make up a lie about a person so that you can feel good in your soul mm -mm. about that person. Mm -hmm. That all of that is an open door for bigger deception. Yep. All of it. So, Revelation chapter 13. Are you ready for this? Okay. Then I stood on the sand. Now, this is John, yes. the revelator. On the island of Patmos, he was boiled in oil and then wrapped in linen cloth, left to die. Mm -hmm. Jesus came and appeared to him and showed him yeah. the book of Revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I stood on the sand of the sea. Now, I hope you got your Bible, because we're going to... This is good. Woo, this is going to be good. Good, good, good. I stood on the stand of the sea, and I saw a beast rising out, up out of the sea, having seven heads, ten horns, and on his horns, ten crowns, and on his heads, a blasphemous name. Now the beast which I saw was like a leopard, his feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. The dragon, who is the dragon? Satan, gave him, oh this is a this is a person, this is a person, him, right? Him, his power, his throne, and great authority. We are talking about a man. Yeah. This beast is the Antichrist. Rising up out of the sea means rising up out of nations, people. It also means political authority. The Antichrist is a political leader. Oh! Write this down. Get it in your heart. The Antichrist is in politics. He is in political leadership. Okay? Look at verse 3. And I saw one of his heads as if it had been mortally wounded, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world marveled and followed the beast. All the world. Now this is after the rapture. This is after the rapture. So they worship the dragon. Satan who gave authority to the beast. Now stop right there. You have to make sure you get this in your heart. They will not be worshiping the devil. As right, in right. Satan worshippers. Right, 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 right. What, how yes. they worship the dragon yes, yes, is yes. through idolatry yes. of the beast. Yes, yes, yes. That's why there's so much deception going around right now because they think, a lot of Christians believe, that the wicked sinners yes. and the political leftists yes. are going to be worshiping the devil Skipping around fires, drinking blood. Oh, no, 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 no. This is talking about idolatry. Yes, yes. A person worships Satan through worshiping something else. That's right. Idolatry. That's right. That's right. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. This is so good. This is so good because the deception is so great. It's so great. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I mean, Christians aren't deceived by the majority of Christians are not deceived by sexual perversion. The, the, the majority, yes. yes, you see that a mile away. The majority of Christians are not deceived by Ouija boards. No. And, uh, they're not deceived no. by Wicca. Most of them are not. Some of them, yes, 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 that is 
there, most of them are not deceived yeah. by Satanism. No. In that sense. No. But boy, if you give them a man to idolize, a political figure, <laughs> we saw it. We've seen it. They created statues of people. They, I'm talking, if you, woo, glory be to yeah. God. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's how people will get deceived. This is it. That's how the elect will This is how, this is it. This is, deceived. when the rapture takes place, they won't believe it's the rapture. No. Because so many people will be still on the earth. Yeah. Christians, that is. And, and when I say Christians, these are people yeah. that they their mouth was close to God, but their heart was far from them because their heart was in idolatry. Idolatry, idolatry. Yes. Advancing the kingdom that's not God. Mm. And they think that, oh, I mean, it, we're living in a time where they really believe mm -hmm. that the wicked people are going to, Oh, boy, I'm really looking forward to this. Do you want to know a secret? Mm. You really want to know a secret? Oh, boy. So the Antichrist is like an authoritarian government. The Antichrist is a political leader. There will be no democracy. Mm. No voting. This is an authoritarian dictatorship. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Authoritarian dictatorships mm -hmm. are not leftists. Mm -hmm. Look at the history. I'm going to break it down. Look at the history. I put something out on Facebook. I put it out there on social media. And I said... The Antichrist will not come from the political liberal party. Mm. Mm. Boy, I know that that shocks some people. But all you got to do is read the scripture. This is an authoritarian mm -hmm. dictator. Mm -hmm. History shows that every authoritarian dictatorship never came out of a liberal party. Mm. That's the deception. Mm. Oh, boy. Mm. Mm. That's the deception. Mm. Let me say this. Did you know, I'm going to break this down on social media. Y'all watch for it. Did you know that the rise of Hitler mm -hmm. hit the church, mm -hmm. the church of Germany? Mm -hmm. They put Nazi flags in the churches. They had the preachers prophesy and teach that Hitler was of God. All the people. Oh, 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 boy, this thing is real. This thing is rich. Oh, my gosh. Woo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, yeah. And who was him? He was not a liberal. No. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. He was a super far rightist. Mm -hmm. hmm. What am I doing? I'm trying to help you understand that... Now I know why you cannot put man's political system in the gospel. You can't do it. You cannot put man's political system in the gospel. Now I know why. Because as soon as you do that, boy, and what is the devil going to do? He's going to take advantage of that right here. He is about to take advantage of that right here. Now, look at this. Look at verse Four. So they worship the dragon who gave authority to the beast, and they worship the beast, saying, Who is like the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And he was given a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, and he has given authority to continue for 42 months. Hmm. Then he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. It was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. All who dwell on the earth will worship him whose name has not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If anyone has an ear, let him hear 
He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Mm. So those that remain on the earth, because they bought into the lie, they deception. And I'm going to tell you, people's eyes are going to be woken up when the rapture happens. They're going to be, oh my gosh, I missed it. And they're going to repent. That's going to be one of the greatest revivals on oh the God. earth. They're going to repent and they're going to get right. And then they're going to see that they missed it. Mm. My God. Are you seeing this today? Mm -hmm. Now, look at verse 11. Then I saw another beast coming out of the earth. He, this is a man, had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence and causes earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. He performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of man. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell in the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause the many who as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. In other words, this is the false prophet. And after the rapture, you're going to have the dragon, Satan. You're going to have the Antichrist, the political leader. And then you're going to have the false prophet. Mm -hmm. And guess what the false prophet does? Mm. The false prophet falsely prophesies about the political leader, the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. The false prophet tells the church, the people of God, hey, this is the one that we need to follow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That is why it is not gospel, it is not biblical mm. to tell church folk mm. who they should follow in politics. Mm. Mm. Boy, we have pastors, prophets. This Donald Trump is God's man. He's God's man. He's the anointed one. He, he's God. Oh. They are acting in the spirit of the false prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Glory be to God. Hmm. Look at verse 15. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast. The image, the beast should both speak and cause as many to worship the image. Now look at verse 16. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark. The false prophet brings forth the mark. Mm. Boy, boy, boy. Folks been so deceived. I know. They've been so deceived. Ah. The false prophet is the one that facilitates the mark of the beast. Yeah. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on the right hand and the forehead, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is the wisdom. Let him who understands calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of man. His number is 666. Mm. And there mm. you go. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Now, I know we went over, but I want to get this in there. Yeah. I want to get this in there. Yeah. Glory be good. to God. Good. Good. Do not be deceived. We're going to talk about the Antichrist a lot more. We're going to talk about the Antichrist. We're going to talk about this. We're going to go forward. But this Sunday we have Family Sunday, so you want to come out. But I don't want nobody to be deceived. No. The mark of the beast is not available right now. Mm. Hmm. It is not revealed right now. We have some understanding of what it could be and what it could look like. Yeah. But the mark of the beast doesn't get revealed. I'm talking the mark of the beast doesn't get revealed until after the rapture when the beast gets revealed mm -hmm. and then the false prophet. Mm -hmm. They work hand in hand. Yes, they do. Now watch this. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Oh. 
you can see it clearly now. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can see it clearly now. Boy, 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 you can see this thing clearly now. Yeah, you can. You can see it clearly now. Ha <laughs> ha! The deception is so real out there mm -hmm. that it's causing people to make decisions about their health. Mm -hmm. It's causing people to make decisions about a lot of different things. Yeah, Christians. Christians! Making decisions based on something else instead of being led by the Holy Ghost. Instead Spirit. of being led by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. When you got this truth in you, the Holy Ghost can speak. Yes. But when you don't have that in you, yeah. the voice of the enemy becomes louder than the voice of truth. Yeah. See? A lot of fear. A lot of fear. A lot of fear. Well, we hope that you receive something yes, tonight. Yes, yes, yes. But let's yes. say you're watching this and you don't know Jesus. Boy, you don't want to live... You don't want to continue living without Jesus. I want to pray with you right now. Yes. I'm going to give you an opportunity to give your life to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because he died on the cross for your sin. You were born into sin and nobody can help you but Jesus. So pray this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and your grace. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you that you are God Almighty. I believe that you died on the cross for my sin. Forgive me of all my sin. Wash me and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Help me, Jesus. Come into my life. Come into my heart. Help me be who you created me to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, if you pray that prayer, all of heaven is rejoicing. We rejoice with you too. Yes. We want you to let us know by going to our website or downloading the free Empowering World Christian Center Church app and just fill out a form. You'll see it there that says, hey, I just received Jesus. We want to help you. We want to help you in discipling and, and pulling out everything that God has already put in you. Amen. Amen. Father, bless your people as we go. We love them with the love of the Lord. Thank you for your grace and blessing upon them, your power and anointing upon them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. We will see you Sunday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, Family Sunday. Don't miss it. God bless you. Have a great night.